Hi guys, welcome back to 375 Dance Studio. My name is Amanda and today we are going to be talking about different types of turns. We are going to be going over three different types of turns today. We are going to be going over a three-step turn, a spiral turn, and a hip twist turn. And we can also have different styling inside of those turns, so we're also going to go over that. We are going to start with a very basic one, is a three-step turn. Says it like it is, it is, takes three steps. So let's start. So we're gonna start, we're gonna turn to our right, and we're gonna step first with our right forward. We're gonna step with our feet and we're gonna put them together as we turn, and then we are going to step to the side with our right foot. So we are going to do a full turn over the three steps. So one more time, we have forward, collect, and side. One more time. And forward, collect, and side. Yes? So when I collect my feet, I transfer my weight onto the left foot to then step to the right. So one more time, I step onto my right foot. When I collect my feet, I transfer my weight to my left foot to then step to the side, okay? Let's do it to the other side. We have left, collect the feet together, and then step to the left. And one more time, and forward, feet together, and side. Now, it depends on what dance we are doing, and depending on the counts that you have, what your footwork will be. So, for instance, if we are doing something quick, quick, slow, I would suggest that we go ball of the foot, ball of the foot, and then step onto a flat, okay? If we are doing samba and we're doing one, two, three timing, so we're trying to make it all equal parts, then I would say that we put those heels down and exactly how we did before. Um, in samba, we can also do quick, quick, slow, and the last one will be quick, quick, and we end on a bent knee. So it depends on what dance we have, what timing we choose. So the footwork is relative to what timing you have. But in general, a three-step turn takes three steps, and you need to have forward, collect, and side. The next turn we are gonna do is a spiral. We have two different variations of a spiral that we can do. We have a high spiral and a low spiral. And then within our low spiral, we can do different stylings with our legs. But first, we're gonna talk about the low and the high one. So, we have, let's start with the low spiral. We take a step forward, we do a forward walk turning, and then we will continue turning over our left shoulder and let that leg come in to a bent position. Yeah? And again, let's go back, left foot behind, and turn, 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 and keep turning left. And one more time, left, turn left, turn left, and pull it in. Yes, and now we're gonna do it to the other side. So right foot back, we do a forward walk turning, and then continue turning over the right shoulder, and bend that knee. And let's do it again. And forward walk turning, Keep turning and bend that knee. That's our low spiral. Our low spiral, we try to stay low and down on the ground. Yeah, so my standing foot, it stays and we turn from the ball of the foot, but I'm keeping that heel on the ground. So I'm getting this feeling, okay? I'm keeping that heel in the ground, but still turning on our toe. Okay guys, so we just did the low spiral. Now we're gonna talk about what the high spiral is. So we are going to take a step forward, just like we're gonna do the low spiral, forward with our right foot. We do a forward walk turning. 
From here, I'm going to pull up, go all the way up in releve on my toe, continue turning and lower, and then take a step. Okay, let's try it one more time. Take a step, forward walk turning, up on the releve, continue turning, lower down, and then take a step. Okay? Again, take a step, forward walk turning, pull up, continue turning, lower back down to take a step. Okay? Let's try it to the other side. Left foot going forward, forward walk turning, pull up, continue turning, lower to then take a step. And again, left foot forward, forward walk turning, pull up, turn, lower, and then take a step. And again, step, forward walk turning, pull up, turn, lower, make a step. Let's talk about styling. So, in the low spiral, as we saw before, we just kept that leg where it was and bent the knee. And we stepped, yeah? So that's just a classic low spiral. Now, we can do it two different ways. We can do one with a brush and one where we bring, uh, keep the leg straight and bring it around. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. We're gonna, again, do a forward walk turning and now as I continue turning over my left shoulder my foot instead of staying on that same spot I'm going to bring it in brush it through and step forward okay so that how this looks like I go through brush it in and forward okay let's try that again and Forward walk turning and continue turning that shoulder back. Leg is gonna go around, in, and step. So the action of the leg, it goes around, in, step. So let's practice just that action alone. Around, in, step. And again, around, in, step. And again, around, in, step. Good, let's try it to the other side. Around, in, step. Again, around, in, step. Again, around, in, step. Yes, so that's the action. Let's do it one more time with our right foot going forward. We have forward walk turning, keep turning, around, in, step. Yes? Let's try it to the other side. So, left foot in front, and forward walk turning, continue turning to the right, round in step. And again, forward walk turning, around in step. And again, continue turning, around in step okay so that's our brush our low spiral with a brush now we are going to do a low spiral with keeping our leg straight the whole time through so it's a little bit like a ronde bringing that leg straight across so the feeling of it is if i would take my foot and i would try to make a half of a circle around with my toe. So this is the feeling that I go around. Yeah, again, just straight through. And again, straight through. Yeah, and we can do it with the other foot. Half of a circle with that toe and, and again, walk, and again, walk. Okay? So we're gonna try to keep that leg straight and make that half circle with our toe. So, let's do it. We take a step with our right foot, 
we do a forward walk turn it, and from here right leg circle it around walk and then from here you take a step forward okay one more time step forward we're going to bring it forward walk turning and around one more time step forward walk turning and around okay let's switch to the other foot left foot going forward forward walk turning and around and step one more time step forward walk turning around and step we'll do it the last time i always say one more time but then we always end up doing it 50 more times but this one will be the last time and step forward walk turning and around and step and if you're noticing i'm turning on my toe okay so when i'm bringing that foot around i'm not turning up on my heel yeah i'm turning on the toe but i'm keeping that heel in contact with the floor yeah so i'm not going all the way up on my toe i'm keeping that heel in contact those are my different stylings i can use in a spiral we have our brush and we have our straight leg making half of a circle now the last and final turn that i'm going to teach you is a hip twist turn when i'm going to take a step forward with my right foot usually when i do my spiral i will be turning to the left okay with my right foot forward but we are going to do the opposite i'm going to step forward with my right leg and i'm going to turn to the right i'm going to do a full turn and then step forward with my left foot and again turning to the right and step forward one more time turning to the right with my right foot in front turn and forward okay same thing to the other side i step forward with my left foot turning to the left and step forward and again to the left turn and forward one more time left turn and step forward okay guys we are going to make a little practice routine with all of the turns that you just learned today so we are going to start with a three step turn but we're also going to be using roomba timing okay so facing the side right foot prepare stands we have hold two we're gonna do a three step turn three and four we're going to do rumble walk two three four low spiral on one we're going to do two three four and a high spiral on one one and we are going to walk two three four hip twist turn to the left one and walk again two three four hip twist turn to the right we hold two three step turn to the left three and four and now coming back in the other direction we are going to use the spiral styles that we did the brushing of the leg and then the straight leg coming through so we're going to do the different spirals then so we're going to come back the other way starting with our right foot going to the side three step turn we have two three and four we walk two three four brushing spiral one we walk two three four spiral with the straight leg around one we walk two three 
four, turning to my left, hip twist turn to my left, one, we walk two, three, four, hip twist turn to the right, one, we hold two, three step turn to the left, three and four. Okay guys, let's do it with counts a bit faster and then we'll try it with slow music. Here we go. Turning to the side, right foot prepares to dance. We have two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, low spiral. Two, three, four, high spiral. Two, three, four, hip twist turn. Two, three, four, hip twist turn. Two, three, and four. Wow. Let's do it to the other side. We have two, three, and four. One, we walk two, three, four, brush spiral. Two, three, four, straight leg spiral. Two, three, four, hip twist turn. Two, three, four, hip twist turn. Two, three, step turn. Alrighty guys, we are gonna do it with slow music. There and back. And then we're gonna try it with normal tempo. Here we go. Four, five, two, three, and four. Two, three, low smile. Two, three, high smile. Okay guys, we are gonna be doing it with normal tempo music. If it was hard for you with the slower tempo, just keep going over and over it. It is a quite difficult routine to do with all the different uh, styling and this and this and that. So if you need to keep going over it slow, keep doing that and then when you're ready, come back and we'll do it fast. Let's do it. Ready? Two, three, and four. guys I really hope that you enjoyed this video turning in general is very very difficult so it just takes a lot of practice getting it into the muscle memory a few pointers that help with turning is understanding how your upper part of your body is working in comparison with your lower part of your body spotting and knowing your footwork so those are definitely the three tricks that can help you to improve your turns, but practice is the ultimate thing. Just gotta keep practicing, keep working hard. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks, bye.